My name is Gabriella Scriver and I'm the mother of Alexander Scriver who is four years old. He was um, born healthy, full term baby, and was developing just like any other children, healthy children do, until um, his age of nine months when he got the diphtheria tetanus shot. Um, we eliminated the pertussis because his older brother also had uh, brain da suffered brain damage, so the doctor convinced us to do this, to give him tetanus, and um, tetanus couldn't come without diphtheria, so we gave it to him, and he ended up um, having severe brain damage as well. There was really nothing to do. They, they sent his uh, DNA and my DNA and my ex-husband's DNA for a bunch of testing and pretty much eliminated all the diseases because it's not a disease. It's brain damage caused by, by the vaccine. It just won't admit it. Alex, right after um, getting his vaccine, within a couple of months, he lost the speech and walk. So what happened was he was like a newborn baby. Um, I could tell that he, his eyes, like he, he could understand a lot of things. He had the knowledge, should I say, of a three-year-old, but um, he couldn't hold his head up. He couldn't sit up on his own. Um, he can't walk. Uh, he can't speak anymore. Um, he's still in diapers. We've tried several things. We've gone to Europe, spent thousands and thousands of dollars on bioenergy. We've uh, contacted <clears throat> so many doctors all over the world trying to find some answers as to what could be done. I've been um, researching stem cells for the past five years and, and following the progress of everything. I did not feel comfortable up until 2008 that it was advanced enough that something could be done to help my children in particular. I, could, I followed as new diseases um, have been cured or, or improved and um, but I just didn't feel comfortable that that was it until I read about stem cells China. Um, I understand there is similar um, treatments available in other countries as well but it did not make me feel as comfortable. Um, of course as any mother I thought okay this is all set up let me just do my own research and so I did and and I felt really comfortable because it takes a lot out of a mother one it's very costly and everybody will agree with that but um, two it's it's a big risk that you take one is just the first one is that such a long travel that we had to go through um, and then just to put my son's life in somebody else's hands, you know, to have that trust. It takes a lot. Um, of course, the worst case scenario is nothing happens, but I was sort of convinced that there would be no, like, really bad side effects. So at least I would give it a try, sort of. Um, and the best case scenario was, well, the sky was the limit. I was really hoping that by the end of this trip or by the end of the progress that he was going to show in the next six months, he would say mama and that was really something I really wanted because he used to say it and um, a couple weeks ago he said mame <laughs> so I was like crying I I knocked over the cup of tea on the floor and everything spilled everywhere remote control broke it's just the way I jumped out of bed it was just like such excitement for me because and I wish I could share it with the rest of the family because it's it's huge. So I have a lot of hopes. And, um, and right after like the first stem cell treatment, I noticed oh, he's like getting much stronger right away. And I wasn't sure if it's a difference in physiotherapy, plus, you know, he was getting electrowave therapy and acupuncture. I wasn't sure if that was it or it was the stem cells. I thought, well, it would be too early for stem cells to work, but he was showing like this huge progress right away. So, I didn't know what that was, but then as time went by, I realized that it's just a combination of everything. And that's what I really like about this approach. I think you call it a holistic approach, right? You just combine all these things and you know what? It doesn't matter to me what helps him. Before we came here, um, if he was laying and I wanted to pull him to sit up, I have to grab him by his wrist and pull him up and his head is like this. And February 14th, when, when he was like all energetic, should I say, um, 
I just gave him my two fingers and he grabbed onto them and I just went like this and he sat up. So 12 days being here, I don't know if it's physiotherapy once again, I don't know if it's stem cells, I don't know if it's a combination of everything, but whatever it is, it made him stronger. And um, he just sit up, sat up and he just held on to me, on, to my fingers. I didn't have to support him at all. And then his head was still like this and he slowly brought it forward. And like the day, just the day before that, the physiotherapist told me he has no muscles to do that. And the next day, like he's doing it. So it was like, wow, all of a sudden this huge change. So that was one of the biggest things that, that happened to us. And it was of course remarkable. That's another thing that I showed, uh, that he showed improvement in, because um, at home, for example, he never ate McDonald's. But here, because we're sort of kind of forced to <laughs> explore other foods, um, he fell in love with filet of fish And I have to blend all his foods with like a hand blender and make it very pureed. And it ha has to be really wet food, can't be dry because he will choke on it. Well, the very funny thing is, after maybe the third transplant, he was able, I was able to just pick off pieces of filet of fish and put it in his mouth and he would chew. And I was like shocked. I mean, I've never tried any other foods, but from then on, every Saturday we had filet of fish. <laughs> so he's able to eat like little chunks of food. And all I had to do is just separate it by hand, which is really big. Like I know people take things for granted, but and they think, okay, so what? He took a bite, you know? But it's really huge compared to, okay, now I have to blend. He has, it has to be very moist, very easy to swallow. All of a sudden we're getting like with a bun, with sesame seeds, you know, with everything he's able to eat it. So very good. I just want to say thank you to everybody. It made me feel very welcome here. I mean, it's not easy. Like. There's 13 rooms here, and I think I was one of the very few people that came here alone with a child. And um, it's definitely not easy being alone. And for the first week, I was closed in my room, and I started getting depressed. And other patients, the staff, you know, everybody sort of made me feel better and made this trip much easier than it could have been. I mean, without the translators, without other patients from all over the world that could speak English, without the staff that was very helpful in, in every way, this could have been really a disaster for me. <laughs> but, I mean, it turned all around because of everybody. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you.